So were you born this tall or did you like drink some special water or what? No, I was born, I think like the normal size that babies are. Yeah. But I ate a lot of vegetables when I was younger. Well, I ate a lot of vegetables. I'm not really oh. 100% sure, oh. but. Dude, what? What is that? Is that thing flicking us off? I didn't think you had him this far north. We're not, we're not, we're not supposed to. I got an idea. Get the Argos. Cheers, good shot. Is that thing still alive? You got the gun. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a very special guest and one of our really, really good friends, Chad, who I'm sure you recognize from the IV8888 channel. Um, and we're gonna be talking about his newest venture going forward, which is Argos Ordnance. Appreciate you having me, Steve. Of course. Well, um, you guys probably recognize me from the Iraq Veteran channel, of course. We've been uh, at that for about 15 years now. Had some crazy antics over the years, but um, seemed like the next logical venture was to start building guns and selling them. I've worked with ARs over the years uh, in numerous capacities, built dozens and dozens of them, and realized some of the problems that are inherent with the system, and uh, tried to improve upon that. And, you know, I have a level of attention to detail that is borderline obsessive, right? So I wanted to put that into the guns that I produce for the consumer market. That way, uh, when you get them in your hands, you don't have to do any tinkering, you don't have to do anything worrying about anything like that. There's a, uh, there's a 40 point quality control checklist I go through to make sure that gun is ready to go out of the box and you never have to worry about it. And they're centered around the rifle speed gas system, which is an excellent gas system we'll probably talk about at the range. Yep, yeah, and we can vouch to all of that. When we got the rifle, you open it up and he's already paint markered some of the bolts so you can already tell that it's, there's a level of quality that goes into this beyond just a big box you know, rifle manufacturer. And then once again, we opened it up and there was a checklist gone down. It's got his signature and the date that it was done and we were just really super impressed by it. Uh, so the rifle that we ended up getting was the 18 inch uh, SPR, the Alpha 115, is that correct? The Alpha 115, A115. 115. Um, and we got it, uh, everything that we could get, all bells and whistles, obviously not any of the add-ons, but uh, full transparency, we paid for this uh, full retail. When we found out he was gonna be producing rifles, we wanted to be one of the first in line. So um, yeah, we're gonna take it out to the range and do some comparisons next to the everyday rifle that I have and just show why this rifle is so special. Hey guys, so real quick, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna try to do our best apples to apples comparison of my 14.5 versus the Argos 14.5. While it's not the exact same, it should give us a pretty good idea of what makes that rifle so different. We're gonna be looking for the ejection pattern, um, the recoil impulse, and especially for me as a lefty, like how much gas am I getting back in the face compared to that one? You know, I got a solution for that, my man. How was that? Don't shoot wrong handed. Sorry, just, lefties. I'm just doing it the way that God intended, so. All right, dude. So the, the big thing that sets the Argos rigs apart from a standard carbine is 
Number one, I use mid-length gas systems in everything that I can. So mid-length has been proven to be softer shooting. You got less port pressure. You've got better recoil impulse, less wear and tear on all the components. A number of different factors that Crane tested many years ago, right? And they've already like the proven. Bird or? No, Crane. You know, you know Crane. You ought to know Crane. Oh, that, okay. You know yeah. that Crane. That yeah. Crane. So Mr. Crane. Not only the mid-length gas system, but also um, the rifle speed gas block. So rifle speed is a relatively new company and they produce a toolless uh, kind of rotary adjustable gas block assembly, right? Mm -hmm. So the big key there is toolless, all right? We know that a bunch of adjustable blocks that are on the market, they have tiny set screws and things like that. People let them get carbon locked. They'll go to adjust them one day and what happens? Parts and pieces snap, they break inside the block sometimes and create havoc and usually require a gunsmith service to remedy the situation, right? Yeah. Rifle Speed has like four major components. No tools, you just reach up, rotate the uh, gas control where you need it. You can have a setting for unsuppressed use, mm -hmm. fine-tuned with perfect ejection, put your suppressor on there. Uh, if it has a little bit of extra back pressure, you just turn that thing down and you're right back in tune where you need to be. You don't get excess gas in the DI system in your face. You get uh, less wear and tear on the components. You get that perfect ejection pattern, perfect cyclic rate, mm -hmm. perfect recoil impulse. There's just a lot that uh, you can benefit from having this block on there. And that's why I wanted to include them on our rifles as a standard option, because I think that that's the Achilles heel of the AR is the gas system, mm -hmm. right? You, know, you can't really do much with it other than uh, changing buffers and spring weights and things like that to slow that uh, bolt opening and everything like that, slow the cyclic rate down. Um, but having control of your gas system is paramount in these rigs, and I think it's an important factor. All right. Well, let's go shoot them and find out. So in addition to the rifle speed gas blocks being a standard fare for these rigs, I do build these to order at the shop. So every rifle right now is built by me. And um, as I mentioned, you know, to the level of borderline obsession with quality control and just making sure these rigs are put together perfect. So we offer a variety of different barrel options for some of the different rigs. We're running Geisley triggers and all these rigs. We run SSAs. We use Geisley SSAs, high quality bolt carrier groups. And as we move forward, I'll be offering several other options uh, for different types of bolt carriers, things like that to suit people's fancies. On the back end of the A115, we offer some various options as far as the recoil system goes. So we have standard carbine system with uh, Sprinko springs. We use Sprinko springs in all these rigs, okay? They're the best springs on the market. Uh, you can upgrade to the Ultor A5 system and all these uh, rigs come with B5 furniture. And we also offer an upgrade to the B5 Precision stock on the SPR rigs. Uh, it's a fully adjustable stock, uh, comb height, length of pull, and then you also get that adjustability, all right, with a normal type of carbine stock that you don't get on some of the other options that are on the market. Um, but regarding quality control, uh, I've gotten several rifles over the years for review and I've noticed things like loose castle nuts, loose hand guards, all right? And these things bother me. So I go through an extensive checklist and I torque and Loctite everything in place, put Vibratite where it needs to be, anti-seize on all the major components, all right, dissimilar metals and such. Uh, we've done some other videos on this over on the Iraq Veteran channel where we discuss this in more detail, but just know that like when you bring these things out of the box, they're ready to go. And you also have probably one of the most extensive user manuals I've ever seen. The user manual was a labor of love and I wanted it to encompass the AR-15 as a whole. And um, you know, as I mentioned earlier in the uh, video, building AR-15s in this market is kind of, uh, you know, kind of a gluttony for punishment. It is, right? it is, but. But I think I can do them better than most everybody else out there. And everything that we've seen so far, it's, that's why we're doing this, that's why we bought the rifles, I mean, I think we have another 13.9 on, mm -hmm. 13 on order as well, just because we were so impressed with the 18 inch that we wanted to get a second one as well. You wanted to lose all that velocity? Yeah. 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 I get it. When are you going to do a 20 inch with a front sight box, with a front sight post? I know you like your front sight posts. I'm going to do one special just for you. Chef's kiss. All right. So who's this rifle for? Mm -hmm. All right. It's for the guy who doesn't want to tinker with an AR and take parts off and upgrade and see what works and what doesn't. I've already done all that work. Basically everything that we did getting up to this point, 
in your career of owning an yes. AR-15 of, well, I bought the cheap one, but then I'm gonna upgrade these parts yes. and yeah. everything that we've done. And then you, you wind up with a pile of parts and you say, well, I've got enough parts here, I can just get a receiver set and I can build another gun. Yeah. We're not looking for those kind of guys, all right? We're looking for the guy who wants something that's a little bit higher end, that's ready to go out of the box. The barrels are shimmed and bedded in place, which is a step that a lot of manufacturers don't take, which I've tested over the years. It increases accuracy potential by at least 30%, up to about 50%. Right, yeah. so just the simple fact of getting that barrel tight in that uh, upper receiver, right? So little attention to detail, uh, things like that. But it's for the guy who wants an out-of-the-box solution, throw a magazine in it with some ammunition, go to the range, zero it, and collect some data, and go shoot. You don't have to worry about anything else. We've done all the hard work for you, right? And it doesn't cost a lot more than some of the other options that are on the market that you would have to upgrade a lot of those components on and worry about variables and things like that as far as your testing goes. Yeah. All right. Well, Chad, thank you for, uh, for coming out. We really appreciate it. Um, appreciate guys, it. be sure to head over to uh, Argos Ordnance where you just want to plug the website. Yeah, so you can visit um, www.argosordnance.com. Uh, the shop is open a few days during the week. I do still split my time with the channel because I have responsibilities to film and edit there as well, but uh, I do my best to answer emails and phone calls uh, as they come in, and uh, I really appreciate the support that um, you know, our fans and other customers have shown me so far. All right. Well, thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, if you have any, have any other questions or any other videos you want to see, drop them in the comments and head over to blueoffabelts.com to check out anything you haven't seen here today. Okay. Hey, hang on. All right, just stay right there. Okay.